Welcome back. Like I said before the break, we will be delving now into the issue of tackling insecurity and the president's attempts to do this through his appointments and so on. I've been joined in the studio now by Vice President of Bono Youth Progressive, Mr. Abdullahi Sani Santino. He joins me now to do justice to the issue. Good afternoon and welcome to the program. Thank you so much. All right. So uh, going straight into it, um, the, the president and your party has expressed priority to tackle insecurity. And uh, yeah, the president has done this through appointments and so on. What more can you say about this? And what's your thoughts on the, the, the way the president has handled it so far? Well, the priority of all Nigerians is to address the issue of security. Mm. And President Bola Ahmed Tinibu has implemented several changes in the security sector with the aim of improving security. And I am pleased to see Malam Nuhu Ribado as the national security advisor. Mm. As the saying goes, 100 army of sheep led by a lion can defeat 100 army of lions led by a sheep. I believe Ribado will lead the security chiefs beyond the expectations of Nigerians. All right. Uh, you, uh, now that you brought him up, the national security advisor, why, why so much confidence in his ability and his competence? You know, there are talks here and there, uh, some positive, some negative. So why do you believe in his competence? You know, the problem is that, according to Charles Bokowski, the intelligent people are full of doubt, while the stupid ones are full of confidence. Mm. Ribado is highly competent to be the national security advisor. With his extensive experience as a well-trained police officer, coupled with his legal education, makes him well-situated to be the national security advisor. You know, when it comes to security, we must set aside our political ambition and prioritize the preservation of life. In this aspect of life, Ribado is much more important than a medical doctor. Ribado is much more important than radiographers, eyes of modern medicine. Ribado is much more important than medical lab scientists, the backbone of medicine. You know, always Nigerians think you must, wear, you must wear a uniform, a military uniform, before being appointed as security advisor or intelligence. No. When it comes to security, the military play an important but limited role in addressing issue of security different ministries will involve. It's an issue of life. The immigrations will involve, the customs, the civil defense, and also economic contributes significantly. The educational sector will almost go with at least 60% in addressing the issue of security. You know, everybody wants to be a leader before he or she will appreciate the government. Over 200 million black people in Nigeria will be a leader before the government of President Bola Tinibu will be appreciated. This is impossible. So when you say 60% to educational sector in solving this issue, can you expand on that? What do you mean? Of course, education plays a vital role in addressing issues of security. Especially in Nigeria, we face internal security challenge. It is hardly, take it for instance, it is hardly to find a well-educated person involved in such criminal activities. And let me give you a clear example. If you look at the health professions, the criminal organizations have enough money to pay those health professions. But the only way to get the service of those health professions is by kidnapping them. That goes to show when you have a good moral in your life, when you have a good well, when you are well educated, you will never involve in such activities. When we talk of the economy sector job opportunities still there are many businessmen who involve in such activities in one way or the other but you find a teacher who is teaching in a secondary school or a primary school is being fed eight thousand ten thousand which is maybe with his ssc or diploma but you will not find him as a kidnapper as a boko haram or other criminal activities in Nigeria, the issue of security we are facing in Nigeria is even not like other countries. It's a challenge between the citizens of Nigeria. Lack of education is one of the factors affecting the issue of security. And maybe, I don't know how, can, how you will understand, you know Nigerians are always ready to criticize every government. So, well, you, are, you are bringing the, the alternative perspective there. But that, that being said, one might wonder, on what basis are you saying what you're saying? Given that you're, you're relatively young, 
I know you are the vice president of the group, but uh, uh, as some would say, you are part of the Gen Z, you know. So you were born even times after uh, or before uh, Nuhu Ribadu gained prominence. So where do you speak from when you have this much confidence in his uh, competence? You know, the problem is that when we talk of security or Nuhu Ribadu's, although I am very young, but I trust him. Mm. Charlie Warden says a bus sitting on a tree isn't afraid of branch breaking because her trusts are on her wings, not on the branch. The president trusted Ribado. I first, I firstly heard of Ribado from my friend and Ali, Alemi Abubakar, who always speak highly of him. That sparked my interest, leading me to conduct research, and I had the opportunity to meet Samir Ribado, who became a very close friend to me. What drew my attention most was Samir's humility. We interacted as though we had known each other for over a decade. He is always ready to lend me a listening ear. After that, one of the most important things to know about, yes, I'm one year old where Nuhu Ribado was the EFCC chairman. But however, I familiarized myself with his remarkable achievement, but often overlooked due to people's tendency to prioritize their personal interests. It's priority for every Nigerian to come and support Ribado so that will address the issue of security accordingly. You know, the road to success is always under construction. And Ribado is the constructor. I think Ribado is like a jealous beggar in, issue, in addressing issue of security. By God's grace, Nigeria, in the next couple of months, the issue of security will be addressed by God's yeah, grace. Well, uh, fair enough, uh, especially with the issues recently with the kidnappings in Abuja and so on and so forth. But when you say that people should support him, how do you feel us Nigerians, uh, regular citizens can aid the, the work to ensure we are all secure? You know, I came from a Meduguri. Mm. We witnessed the issue of security for more than years, for mm. more than 10 years mm. in Meduguri. Different soldiers from Ikiti will come, from Ogun will come, Operation Zamalafia, Operation Damusa, op different operations come to Meduguri to address single issue of Boko Haram. But the issue was expanding. Do you get my point? Mm. When we talk of terrorists, terrorists don't usually wear uniforms. The citizens, let me give you a clear example from my own state, the civilian JTFs. We the one who address the issue of security in Meduguri. How? They carry sticks and follow those with guns. Was go that goes to show citizens must contribute in addressing the issue of security. I was in Meduguri. Different operations of soldiers, civil defense, police officers. The issue was not addressed. It's only when the civilian JTFs address the issue. And the civilian JTFs address the issue with the full support of the governor the current vice president Kashim Shetima mm -hmm. and the issue wa was addressed with the fully support of Barisaka Kashaw Lawan, the senator representing Borno Central and the former Antony General of Borno State. So citizens will contribute a lot before addressing the issue of security. All right, uh, thank you so much. Uh, we seem to have run out of time, but I don't know if you have any final words, uh, just under 30 seconds as regards, uh, the you know, going forward maybe in Meduguri and security generally just you have 30 seconds to just give us your final words you know if you look at the current situation in Meduguri oh. governor Zulum will be running out of tenure oh. in the next two to three years but the problem is that issue of security is an issue that if we don't end war war will end us oh. that's one aspect of it so if Zulum will walk out of Tenwa in the next couple of years, we have to look at someone who has experience in the security sector so that we'll succeed him. The issue of security in Meduguri is not only the security that challenge in only in Meduguri. The issue of Meduguri comes to Yobe, comes to Adamawa. Has it been the civilian JTFs couldn't have come into being, the security challenge will not be ended by this time. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping by the Sakakasha will allow the senator representing Borno Central to be our next governor. All right, uh, fair enough. Thank you so much for coming on the program and for speaking on this issue and, uh, you know, letting us know why 
uh, there is opportunity for confidence in um, no Ribado. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right, uh, that's how we end uh, this segment of the program. We'll go on a short break. When we return, we'll be delving into further issues on the state of the nation and also the issues of insecurity once more and also the Edo State 2024 elections, which are set to hold in a few months. Stay with us. We'll be back shortly. <laughs>